Hey, let's talk about this thing. Now, what is this thing? Well, I'm kind of giving it away. It is an arithmetic sequence. So if you're watching this video and you're interested in arithmetic sequence, uh, it's likely that you're in some sort of like maybe uh, advanced algebra two course or pre-calculus uh, course, but um, you know, you're obviously studying sequences and series and there's two different, two main uh, types. Uh, there's arithmetic and geometric, but we're gonna be focusing in here on arithmetic, uh, an arithmetic sequence. And I'm gonna you know, uh, specifically get into um, the details of what we're trying to do here. So what are we trying to do? Well, if you look here, uh, we're talking about, first of all, a sequence. Okay, so a sequence is just a pattern of numbers. And if we look at this uh, sequence here, we can see that we're going, we're starting from two, but we go to five by what? Well, we're adding three. We're like, oh, okay, we added three. Going from two to five, we added three. Let's see if that works again. So five plus three, oh yeah, it does. It gets us to eight. Let's see if it even works again. Eight plus three gets us to 11. Excellent, okay, so because these terms in this uh, sequence, arithmetic sequence, is um, separated by a number, a common difference that we can continue to add, this is how this is defined as a arithmetic sequence. Now, uh, just uh, so there's no confusion, because we, we are studying sequences and series when you're studying this topic. So if you're doing this, you're gonna eventually be studying this thing called series. So what is a series uh, versus a sequence? Well, basically all that is, is that we're gonna add up the terms of an arithmetic sequence. So a series would just be the sum, okay, of the terms. And then we can go on and on, da, 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 da. So when you're studying this stuff, don't confuse some of the formulas that you're gonna get for series versus sequence, okay? So anyways, I don't wanna to get too far ahead uh, in this video because you know, uh, it's arithmetic sequences and series, a hugely important topic. And what we wanna do here in this particular problem is find the value of the hundredth term, okay, in this arithmetic sequence. So you're saying, hmm, okay, how can I do that? Well, even if you didn't know any algebra, okay, if I wanted to find the hundredth term, I would just do the what? Well, the second term, a sub two is five, Okay, and I, did, I added three, and I added three again here. So my third term, the value of that is eight. So I'm like, all right, I can just play this game. Uh, my fourth term is gonna be 11, so I could just keep going on and on and on and on and on. Guess what, by the time you finish that problem, you would be looking like this. You're gonna be like, okay, that was very hard, very boring, and um, a complete waste of my time on planet Earth, because that's it's gonna take you a long time. And that's just, you know, too much work. But luckily for you, um, there are formulas that we can apply to make our job easier. Now, this is the hundredth term, okay? What if I said, find the 10,000th term? Then, you know, at this point, you'd just be like, ah, you know, forget that. I'll just go do something else. And I wouldn't blame you, okay? However, if you're studying mathematics, uh, you know, algebra two, pre-calculus and whatnot, you're gonna to need to know this stuff. And it's not that difficult, but we do need to cover some uh, basic formulas and uh, we'll go ahead and solve this problem in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like, and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now, again, uh, here is our lovely arithmetic sequence, and we know it's arithmetic because it's uh, the terms are separated by what we call a common difference, and that is three. And I could find that by just subtracting any two pairs of term, terms uh, eight minus five, I get three, okay, any kind of um, two consecutive terms, all right, five minus two, I get three, um, 11 minus eight, I get three. So these terms are separated by three. That's our common difference. That's what we uh, denote as D. All right, now uh, we need to first define what this little A sub one deal is. Well, in uh, sequence and series uh, talk or notation, uh, this little A sub one just is notation for the first uh, term in the sequence, okay? So two, a sub one is two, all right? Now to find any term down, down the line here, that's a sub n, 
Okay, so a sub n, I want a formula for a sub n. So I could, if I wanted to find uh, a uh, the 100th term, I would find a 100. Okay, so if the first term, if I want to find the second term, pretty easy, that's 5, right? Because I can just identify it. But what I want to have is a general formula for any term in this sequence. And here is the formula you need to know. So if you're studying arithmetic sequences in series, you need to know this formula for the nth term of an arithmetic uh, sequence. And here it is, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus uh, n minus 1 uh, times d. Okay, again, d is a common difference. a sub 1 is the first uh, um, term, the first, the value of the first term in the sequence. And then n, you're just going to leave blank because we're going to come up with a formula for a sub n. And we're going to do that right now. Okay, so here we go. We got our first term. We know that it's 2. A sub 1 is 2. And our common difference is 3. So I just need to just plug this stuff in here and do some simple algebra. So A sub 1 is 2. So I'm going to plug in 2 right there. And then my D is 3. So I'm going to plug in 3 right there. Okay, so you can see that's exactly what I'm doing. All right. All right, so A sub 1 is 2. D is 3, common difference. So what do I do here? It's as simple as applying the distributive property. Okay, so it's 3 times this 1 times that n. So I get 3n minus 3. I got this 2 over here, so 2 plus 3n minus 3. And when I have 2 and minus 3 together, I got 3n minus 1. This, this simplifies down to that. That's not that difficult at all. But what does this mean? Well, this is the specific... Uh, formula for the nth term of this arithmetic sequence. So remember, we have 2, 5, 8. Now, any term I want down here, I want, you know, of course, the question's asking for the 100th, but if I wanted the 57th term or if I wanted the 10,000th term, I can use this lovely little formula right here. N is the position in a sequence, okay? So remember, A sub 1 is the first term, okay? A sub 2 is the second term. So this it defines the position. And when you plug in all this stuff in here, you're going to get the actual value. All right, so let's go ahead and find a uh, the 100th term. So I want to find A sub 100, this little subscript right here. So it's going to be 3. Remember, this is my N. This is N. So when I plug in when I want the 100th term, that's A 100. This N is 100. Okay, so that's 3 times 100 minus 1, 300 minus 1 is 299, so the hundredth term is 299, and that's it, okay? Now, I would say this is a pretty easy problem in terms of sequence and series, pretty standard stuff, all right? You're gonna need to know this formula um, and many others, but here's the deal. Um, when you start learning these formulas, when you're, when you're talking about sequence and series, students start, you know, they, got, they start writing down all these formulas. You got arithmetic, geometric, infinite, um, uh, geometric, and then, you know, you start getting confused, okay? You're like, oh, you're using the wrong formula on this and this formula on that. So the only way you're going to be able to kind of, you know, um, keep things straight here is through practice and focus. You know, focus is the key to anything, right? And when I'm talking about note-taking and stuff, I'm not joking when I'm talking about the level of focus you need, you need to have to be uh, successful, you know, not only in this level of mathematics, but in, in anything, that you do, okay? But this stuff is complicated, and it's going to get, if you're at, if you're studying this level of math, guess what? i got great news for you. It's only going to get more complica complicated. So that's going to be, you know, like, hey, more challenging. You're going to feel just better about yourself, and your brain's going to grow um, to this crazy supercomputer, okay? But here's the deal. Yeah, if you're going to be successful at that, you have to be focused, all right? So if you're struggling with this, take a step back, you know, take a look at your notes, talk to your teacher, but if you like my uh, style of instruction, um, then I can definitely help you. Again, where you want to go to get help from me on this uh, topic is in my pre-calculus course. I have a whole chapter on sequence in series. Um, you can check that out again. I'm going to leave the direct link in the description of this video along with the link to my uh, learning program. All right, so if this video was helpful in some small way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced math. Okay. So again, whether you're taking, you know, basic algebra or more advanced mathematics, I can help you out. Okay. Uh, the bottom line is this, get help, right? Watch my videos, watch someone else's videos, go get help. Uh, the worst thing you do is just 
feel like you can't do this stuff because you can't. Okay, but is it easy? No. Are you going to have to work? Yes. But uh, beyond that, you know, you will be successful if you put in the work and you stay focused. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.